And York now starting to get into better areas for Sydney FC. Dwight York takes Clark one way and then the other. Squares it up, the shots. Sydney draw first blood in the grand final. Stevie Corica. But York absolutely fantastic taking on the Central Coast. Mariners defence, they block. They drop back off him, there's two of them there, Clark and Spencer. Phil, they should try and make a challenge, but he lays it back perfectly to Kurika. Still a lot to do, keeps his head down, angles it into the corner of the net. We talked about York being tired, but he manages to set up the Sydney FC opener. Approaching the 20-minute mark. Deadlock still to be broken. Maybe this is the chance, Fred through, Archie Thompson! Signal the goal, and Archie Thompson, the man who never scored against Adelaide, puts that statistic right on the big stage. It's just ahead of the ball's helped through by Grant Brebner. He's definitely onside, but what about the first touch from Brebner? From Fred, sorry. That's what sets up the goal. Very simple one too with Fred. And this is where Melbourne are dangerous. Also running at pace. Fred on the outside. Fred in. Archie Thompson! goal for the victory and they've doubled their money in the grand final beautiful run to the near post look at Allsop, he holds it up, picks the right time had to be first time pass from Fred it was and Archie Thompson with a left footed finish this time, wonderful stuff from Melbourne Musket, a oh, lovely ball from Musket, Thompson again Archie Thompson 3-0 and maybe that will bring the championship to Melbourne. Archie Thompson has a hat-trick. He'll take the match ball and possibly Melbourne the trophy itself. Archie Thompson makes it that run. Volcano stays too wide. Carl Vett. Just too easy. Now, Fred. Melbourne will break with pace. Four on three. Thompson onside. This could be a fourth for Archie Thompson. That's it, surely, for Melbourne. They're singing in the rain at the Dome. There they make a decision to stand, but there's no pressure on Fred. Archie Thompson makes a diagonal run, and I think he's level. I think he's level. I think he's onside. It's close. After that, he goes around Daniel Beltrami. What an individual performance. Robinson. Now Fred. Also darts towards the near post. Thompson! Well, the ball is just glued to his boots and glued, it seems, to the back of the net. It's five for Archie Thompson. It is Fred, makes the run, gets his head up. Look how he gets his head up. Great for youngsters watching. He knows exactly. Maybe a sign for one fl final flourish. Sarkis. Christian Sarkis. That is perhaps the pick of the bunch. What a way to finish it at Telstra Dome. Here's Sarkis, picks up the ball. Good run from Robertson around the back. He checks inside, goes for the far post. Beltrami, no chance. Now, Tony Vidmar, caught in possession by Mark Bridge. Bridge! Oh, brilliant! Advantage Jets in the grand final. He still had a lot to do. Needs the turn from Vidmar, loses the ball, takes his eye off it. Bridge has got one thing on his mind, he's going towards goalie. Draws the defender, he's backing away. And what about that for a finish? He gets his head up. Wilkinson backing away, and he bends that one into the far corner. That is a wonderful finish from Mark Bridge. But it takes a mistake from Tony Vidmar. First real involvement. Holds it off the pond on the Yaku, drifts it in, and it's a goal for Melbourne! The deadlock is broken in the grand final. Tom Pondelyak, seven grand finals, never a goal until now. Saving that. Little back heel from Berger. Pondelyak comes in. Not a lot of power on the shot. And Eugene Galekovic, the goalkeeper of the year, will be disappointed with that. He sees it late. 
It's, you can't deny it. Here's Fernandez on the turn. It took a deflection. It's bundled home by Rodrigo Vargas. Or is it? Wait a moment. Wait a moment. The celebrations have been cut short because an offside flag has been raised. The Melbourne fans don't know it yet, but it won't count. And Sydney are away at the other end. A big talking point in the grand final. Here's Alex Bross, skips away from Vargas, who is almost the hero. And Sydney have scored at the other end. And this one will count. It's Mark Bridge who becomes the first man to score in successive grand finals since John and Stadiadis back in the 90s. An unbelievable 60 seconds. It took it over the head of Langerak. Mark Bridge was there, you'd have to say, he's got it right. He has got it right. Vargas, that's his second disallowed goal. But they switched off, Kevin Musket dived in on the halfway line, Bross down the left-hand side. The cross is a massive deflection. And Mark Bridge lurking at the back post. Melbourne defence got called ball watching. And he's got the simple task of knotting this one into the back of the net. Charlotte Kissel, they've worked ever. Moscow Toys heading in, what a goal! Melbourne are level in the grand final and it's Adrian Leia with a bullet header. And the key here is Leia attacks the ball. Musket takes it, it's got a bit of tail on it, but Leia wants it, he attacks the ball, he gets the perfect angle on it. Everyone's waiting for Hernandez, Musket comes up and takes it a little bit quicker and look at Leia attacking the ball. Change my mind. Simon Colosimo scores and puts Sydney 1-0 up. Kevin Muskets. Oh! He's missed. Would you believe it? The professor of the penalty kick has missed in the grand final. Oh, it's a great save by Mitch Langerak. That is Mark Schwarzer-esque from the young Melbourne stopper. After three penalties taken, Grant Brebner up next for Melbourne. Cool as you like, the Scotsman, 1-1. He didn't think he'd be involved in a moment as big as this, but here he is. And he puts Sydney FC back in front at 2-1. Big responsibility on the Costa Rican. And it's a great stop by Clint Bolton, away to his left. Sydney really have the advantage now. It's Melbourne from the spot in the major semi-final. This for 3-1. It is 3-1 for Sydney. He does score. Huge responsibility. It's all on Bjorn and all on Langerak for Melbourne victory. Bjorn scores! Sydney FC are the champions. The Sky Blues denying Melbourne back-to-back -back titles to secure their first championship in four years. Bernie Abini's given the Mariners a new lease of life. Here's the corner. Back into the danger zone. There's Abini. It's in the back of the net from Adam Kwasnick. The Mariners have scored. Enrique and Hutchinson smash into each other. The Mariners are away. Hits Adam Kwasnick. This could seal it for the Mariners. Great save by Theoklitos first time. Kwasnick steers it up. And Bazanic surely clinches the championship for the Central Coast Mariners. Incredible scenes at Suncourt. The Mariners fans are going absolutely mad. It's going to take an almighty comeback from the Brisbane Roar to haul them back in. And you can't see it happening, to be frank. There's family members early this afternoon, there's something like 25 of the extended Rose family. Here's some awesome oh, just break away, Andy. Maybe a chance here for Brisbane. Enrique! It's 2-1! Game on! The grand final is not dead yet for Brisbane. And this effort set up by Solorsano and Thomas Broish, applies the defibrillators to Brisbane's championship claims. Suncorp, Graham Arnold can't stand it. <laughs> That's unbelievable tension here at Suncorp.
the best team of the A-League era. And it goes. against the Oklatos for the first penalty and John Hutchinson scores just only just up first for the Raw Ivan Franjic who missed one during the regular season but he's not missed that one 1-1 one, one in the shooter and he tucks it away with a plump He's still a hero, Eric Partelou. 2 2. And that is a good penalty. Will he go onto the score sheet in this shootout? It's saved by Michael Piotrzos. The first big breakthrough of the shootout goes the way of the Brisbane Roar. Well, Danny McGrain's the unfortunate man. Unfortunate care of the greatness of Michael Piotrzos. And you cast your mind back to extra time, Simon. I think the Mariners were probably up 2-0 at the time, and he was giving Theoklatos all sorts of curry. But Theoklatos, how about that for a televisual picture? Brilliant work from the goalkeeper. And Matt Mackay has the chance to give Brisbane the advantage. And he does, the captain. 3-2 for the Raw. And he's saved one already. Another one, and Brisbane are almost there. Pejvoic. He saved again, Michael Theoklatos! Penalty of the sixth season of the Hyundai A-League, and that is Mark Schwarzer-esque. Enrique to win the title for Brisbane. One kick separating Brisbane Raw from their second trophy of the season. Enrique against Ryan. It's all on this. Enrique scores! Brisbane are the champions! And who'd have thought we'd have been saying that some ten minutes ago? What an incredible comeback! What an incredible team this Brisbane Raw side is! It's Brisbane's day! It's Brisbane's season! It's Brisbane's time! found a teammate, Travis Dodd, smelts at the near post. Dodd can't find him, across it comes, it's in! Billy Mamet, it might have been an own goal off Ivan Franic. Perth glory, draw first blood in the grand final. Play here. Well, Bill, Billy Mamet doesn't get the credit for the silky football that he can put on. And he put this chance on with that beautiful dribble right through the heart of the football field. Travis Dodd fired the second effort back across goal and in, it is an own goal from Ivan Franic. Reutsch, whipped in towards Marisha! Besser Marisha! Restores parity in the grand final! The Showpiece Stadium in Australian football has gone off and Besser Marisha has lit the fuse. It's a punching header at the near post. It's exquisite delivery from the maestro Thomas Reutsch. Reutsch slips it through, Marisha a chance to win it. Snaffled up by Van der Brink and then down goes Berisha. Penalty! Penalty for Brisbane Raw! Berisha celebrates as though they won the grand final already. Berisha into the penalty area. He scrapped and he persevered. It's an air swing from one view. Here he goes. This will be instructive. The first replay. Not so. And he looks to pull the trigger. Not sure about that at all. The grand final. It's all on Danny Vukovic for Perth Glory. As it was 12 months ago, it comes down to a penalty kick. And Barisha scores! And Brisbane Raw have won the grand final. Amazing scenes at Suncorp Stadium. 50,000 fans go wild.
approach him. McGlinchey's ball in. One headed into the back of the net by Patrick Svansvake. The veteran gives the Mariners the lead in the grand final with his first of the season. What a time to score it. Frighted. Corner. Cressinger just left on his heels. You'd reckon it was his job to police the Dutchman Beecham there or thereabouts as well. The Wanderers, who've been better in the second half. Breen trying to get around Michael Beach. Oh, it came off the hand of Jerome Polans. That's a penalty. Penalty for the Central Coast Mariners. Calamity for Jerome Polans. Breen chased it down. There's no question about the contact with the hand. Is it intentional? McBreen's adamant. Here he goes, Danny McBreen. Ball goes towards the hand. I'm comfortable that's a penalty. Yep. He did, of course, miss in the shootout in the grand final against the Raw two years ago. But this is a big kick in the grand final. McBreen tucks it away. And the Mariners are two goals to the good. Those Wanderers fans perhaps sensing a goal is imminent. Oh, no, with the end swing, a free hand. Royce came too far, Spiranovic left free. He nailed the header. A huge credit to the Wanderers central defender because that's a finish of a striker's quality. Have a look at that, great television. We're into the final five minutes. Royce to chip it in, and there's Bruce, and there's the equaliser! And it just had to be Bessar Berisha. Love him or hate him, you just cannot ignore him. Big games, big moments, and how much bigger do they come? Broish to Berisha, the killer bees at the Caxton Street end of Suncorp Stadium have united to breathe life into the Brisbane Rollers Championship hopes. Time wasn't their friend, but the Europeans in concert have given them a new lease on it. Stefan Uto looks towards Enrico, he's not the tallest, he's managed to flick it on towards Donaghy. Here's Enrico, chance! Enrico! He's done it again! The substitute has scored in the grand final against the Mariners in 2011, does it in 2014! Is that the championship winner for Brisbane? He's half the size of Jokka Pelerocca and somehow he wins the header to keep the attack alive. And the cutback falls fortunately not just to him but then off his own touch. Sits brilliantly thereafter and the Brazilian takes a millisecond to pick his spot. And that spot is right in the middle of the football and he puts that size eight straight through the guts of the football into the Caxton Street end of the ground. And Brisbane Raw are ahead at Suncorp in grand final nine. a little bit unsure as to what to do with it he's giving it straight to Barbarossa who fires it across and here's Berisha Bessa Berisha creates history by scoring the third grand final this is his stage and he rarely fails to deliver in the helter-skelter start that this has been a fortuitous interchange between he and Brazilian Guy Finkler it didn't look like it was going to cause too much trouble, but as the ball swings to his left, he just lasers in on that back corner, and Bessart Berisha sends victory one clear. Get the job done, there's still eight minutes to go. Loose ball favours Barbarousas here. Across to Barbarousas, Kalfala, Barbarousas, safe first time, Barbarousas! That should do it for the victory! Surely they're heading for the trophy now! You just can't see it here. They've been so dominant. Barbarousas profiting off the turnover from skipper Alex Brosk. The first effort on goal seen away by Janjetovic. Kalfala composed. Janjetovic did his best, but it wasn't good enough. Kalfala sidesteps Dimitrovic with ease. It's three on three. Lee Brookson busting a gut to make it four. Kalfala slides it through. It's Lee Brookson! Milos Dimitrievich run past as though he wasn't even there by Fahid Ben Kalfala. 
who shaped to shoot himself. The dummy but bought time for the charging run of Lee Broxham, who thrashes the ball home at the near post. Unsavable this one. Unstoppable today, Melbourne victory. The cutest of touches. And gets it back off Stefan Morton. The Adelaide crowd like that. What about the cross from Karuska? Kamal! Bruce Kamal for Adelaide United! Arriving late, but they're ahead of the fullback. And Adelaide Oval erupts. And this is the benefit of it. Superb lead up play down the near touchline. More to Karuska. The pass was beautiful in the end from Marcelo Karuska, the magical Argentine. But look at that from Brucey Kay. He zips in front of Scott Jamison. It's a peach with the inside of his left foot. It's going to be Isaias. So oh, Isaias, the Spaniard. Si, senor. Si. Two goals to the good Adelaide. It's incredible noise. An incredible goal. Any corner on this earth. That is Golazzo. Beautiful. Centimetre perfect from Asaias. Redmayne virtually rooted to his spot. An incredible lead now for Adelaide. But still plenty of time. And here's Castleman as they try to start the journey. Laid off by Santalab. There's one back. And it is a smashing hit by Scott Neville. Great Scott. It's a moment of quality, really, in exchange. The ball thread through from Romeo Castellan. The deftest of touches from Brendan Santalab. And a quite instinctive... 1994, when Adelaide City last bought a championship. Oh, a mistake by Bacchus. There could be an air. Pablo Sanchez! That's it! They've done it! The super sub, once again, off the bench, scores the clincher. Adelaide are going to be champions for the very first time in the A-League era. And they've got three goals. Adelaide United, unfortunate error by Kieran Bacchus. But the best goal sneak in Adelaide fires at home. They're not going to lose it from here, Adelaide. They've been the best team all season. The most incredible comeback in professional sport. Winless after eight rounds. Then they didn't lose. They lost one for 20 games that followed. Finished top of the pops. Host the grand final and put a third nail in the Wanderers' coffin. It's Adelaide's from here. The Reds in the city of churches are going to be the champions of Australia. Fully clear by the Spaniard Barro. Rojas trying to break clear. Advantage played, a good one too by Jared Gillett. It's Bessar Barisha, a little step over Barisha. Oh, what a goal! That is superb! Bessar Barisha, who simply lives for these occasions. He has scored again in a grand final. And a very good advantage played. And then just sit back and watch this bloke do his business. He is the best big game player, big game player in the A-League. He sets up Alex Wilkinson and the shimmy gets the Socceroo defender just a half a yard out of his way and off balance. Plenty of space for the Kosovan International to lance the hearts of Sydney FC. And he does it brilliantly. Out it comes for Brandon O'Neill. Jordi Bose to chest it down. Can they find the angle? Victory desperate. David Carr! season like this to score on the big day than Ryan Grant. Fabulous desperation from victory. They just couldn't get it away. Does it go in on the first instance? We can't really tell. It's close enough. But Ryan Grant makes no mistake. From Canoundra to the Big Apple, he etches his name in A-League history. Ryan Grant gets the home team level. 25 minutes of frantic action to come to settle this one. Listen to this place, if you can. And if you thought the previous 120 minutes were dramatic, well, you haven't seen anything yet. So it's Broska against Thomas. First kick of the penalty shooter. No problems for the Sydney FC skipper.
taken to the ground on three occasions this season, and all three have been missed, including Bessart for issue, remember, back in November. James Troisi doesn't miss. Wilkinson is two from two in previous penalty shootouts during his days with the Mariners. Oh, sends it wide. The first miss of the penalty shootout, and Alex Wilkinson, who's never won a grand final. Another moment that he doesn't care to remember. Next up, Lee Broxham, veteran of four grand finals against Vukovic. Long run up, good penalty, tucked away, victory lead, 2-1. Has to score on the pressure, is right on Sydney. Does score, no problem. 2-2. One step closer to it, if he can convert. Larry against Vukovic. Oh, thumps back off the crossbar. Stays at 2-2. One miss apiece. Brandon O'Neill next up for Sydney FC. Lovely penalty. Sydney FC lead. 3-2. Victory are in huge trouble. Schwarzer-esque plunge down to his right. Strong right paw. Big, big save for Sydney FC. That's a brilliant save from Danny Vukovic. Oh, that's a brilliant save from Danny Vukovic. If this goes in, it's Sydney's crown. Nikovic scores! Dreams have come true in Sky Blue! Sydney FC are the champions of Australia for the first time in seven years. And again, it's victory who are the vanquished on the big day. Top in the air league with 15. Does go towards Donaghy, who met it at that far post, and it's Barbarossas, and it's touched in, and victory have the advantage. Costa Barbarossas claiming the credit. It's the earliest goal ever in a grand final. And 4,000 victory fans on the far side of the stadium go wild. Now, James Donaghy, well, that was my suspicion. That's yeah. offside. He's clearly offside. I mean, are we using VAR or not? And after extra time, they still cannot be split. And it is going to be deja vu for Glory and the Sky Blue. Ready trying to make himself big. Fondrak goes for power as he normally does. And despite the stumble, thumps it home and Sydney lead 1-0. Redmayne wandering all over his line. Juande doesn't care, sends him the wrong way. 1-1, good penalty. O'Neill finds the corner. Ready guessed the right way. But couldn't get his hand to it. Cool as you like, 2-1 Sydney. A full-on Irishman, Andy Keogh. There's the Wiggles routine from Redmayne. Andy Keogh, saved by Redmayne. The dancing around on the line has worked. He's out psyched, Andy Keogh. This to give Sydney a 3-1 lead in the shootout. Ryan Grant's ready, got a touch to it, but it's in. And Sydney lead 3-1. And are edging closer to a fourth A-League title. Redmayne's made one very big save. Again, he dances around. Oh, and Santalab went for the Penenka, and it did not pay off. And Sydney FC are almost there. In this situation last week for Perth, he has to be again here, or it's all over for Perth. Gushanachan scores! And against the Premiers, against all odds, a long way from home, it is who are the champions of Australia for a record equaling fourth time. Berenguer pounces this time. Late run from Luna. Noon looking at McLaren on the edge of the area. Here's a chance for Delbridge. What a moment for Melbourne City. In their first grand final, they lead 17 minutes in. Just as he strikes, he's directly in front of him. And I think it's going to be ruled out here. It's no goal for Harrison Delbridge. We're still goalless. King can keep it in. 
Here is Rich Wright. Bratton demanding. Picking out Ryan Brandt. Chesting it home. The kick from Canavra. With the smart at the back post. He scored another grand final goal for Sydney FC. How clever is that finish? Using his head to use his chest to finally beat Tom Glover. A successful spell in South Korea. Dam Yohan. Always finds the target with those attacking passes. Bargarufas! In a grand final! Again! He is perfect on grand final day. Four wins out of four. And now he has his third grand final goal. What a strike it is! Kolakowski, little one-two with Tilio, who was dragged back in back play. Atkinson, looking to hit straight back. Top corner, if you don't mind. The boy from Tasmania, set for an Oli Roos call-up next month, has equalised within three minutes. Griffiths doing the discipline thing despite the encouragement from the fans. Atkinson trying to work the angle. Brilliant ball, penalty, claims, given. Adrian Luna went down. Not too many complaints from Caceres. And Melbourne City before half time will have the chance to take the lead. Steve Corica can't believe the decision. The captain says, I've got this one, boys. Against the Hewitt Bell. Scott Jamison sends the keeper the wrong way. And the captain for Melbourne City puts his side on top. Hunting a first grand final success for him personally. And away again. We'll go for goal. 